with a clove hitch, get your piece of thread, whatever you're using, your string, wrap it round like this. So it crosses over, then you come around underneath and under that bit. Like that. Once you've got your two big rectangles, you start putting the um, upright bits that are going to join the two together. So I have to do two here now. Got my clove hitch from this one ready to put that there. So we've got the basic frame, but it's still a bit wobbly. So it needs the, the crosses to triangulate it to add rigidity so it's not going to collapse like this. So I've got my two um, crosses which are going to go in the middle to triangulate it. So that can go there. And one either end. Okay, that's the um, struts put in. So these bits are um, triangulated now, so it's a bit much more stronger. Go through and check all your knots, make sure you haven't got any loose bits like this corner here. Tie those up if you've got any of those. So I'm putting the outside on. I'm using a bin bag, but it says you can use paper, but um, I'll see how well this goes. Um, I've reinforced mine along here with cell tape, so it's not, so it's not going to tear. Um, so I've also put cell tape on here so it's not going to tear where the wood goes through, but we'll see how it goes. I've also attached my string, which is going to be used to fly the kite, um, before I've put that one on. Um, there we have it. It's not very pretty, but it was kind of fun to make, and if you have a, have a gale force wind it might work.